Our next stop is the Academia van der Bambira, one of the many sports and fitness centers in Belo Horizonte. It's owned and run by Manuel Rezende Gimatos Cabral. His friends call him Nelinho, a moniker made famous during the 1978 World Cup when the Brazilian international scored one of the tournament's greatest ever goals. Born in Rio de Janeiro, Nelinho has long since made Belo his home and he spent most of his playing career with the city's most successful club, Cruzeiro. He was a surprise inclusion in Brazil's squad for the 74 tournament in Germany, although his first encounter with the FIFA World Cup came 16 years earlier. I still remember 58. I was eight years old, I lived in Olaria, and the World Cup was being broadcast on the radio. I remember the commentator's voice would come and go. We were crowned champions and there was a great party all over the country. Then came the 1970 World Cup, which was broadcast on television. That was another great party, and it was one of the best Brazilian national teams I've ever seen. I'd actually say the best of all time, because they weren't just good technically, they also lifted the trophy. I still remember exactly what happened. A late call-up for the 74 tournament, Nelinho was firmly established in the Brazilian squad for the 78 World Cup in Argentina. Unspectacular yet undefeated in the seven games they played, Brazil missed out on a place in the final on goal difference. And it was in the third place playoff against Italy that Nelinho took centre stage. I sensed the goalkeeper was expecting me to cross it, so I changed my mind and instead of hitting the ball with the inside of my foot, I used the outside. I curved it towards the goal on Zoff's right-hand side, he was the Italian keeper, and it worked out well. People still ask me if it was a lucky goal, if I wanted to cross the ball. I always have to explain that I didn't cross the ball. If I had done, I would have used my instep. It's a goal that is still talked about today, and it's obviously something I have fond memories of. The curtain came down on his international career a couple of years later, but Nelinho hit the headlines again domestically when he swapped Cruzeiro for their cross-city rivals Atletico Mineiro in 1982. The Cruzeiro directors thought I was finished, so they decided to sell me to Atletico. They wanted me to go there because they believed I could no longer play, that I was a negative leader and that I would upset the atmosphere at Atletico. Far from upsetting the atmosphere, Nelinho inspired Atletico to three state championships in his five years at the club. He eventually retired aged 37. And now, 24 years later, he's very much looking forward to yet another World Cup adventure. It's very exciting because we all know what a great event and a great party the World Cup is for everybody. As a player, I've witnessed this in other countries, and as a supporter, I've experienced the party it creates here in Brazil. You can just imagine what it's going to be like hosting a World Cup in our own country. But it's a huge responsibility. And it's not just about having a good World Cup off the pitch. For us, as supporters, we also need the Brazilian team to have a good tournament on the pitch. And a spectacular goal or two wouldn't go amiss.